Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your 2015 tarot scope for July. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who's been booking readings uh, with me through readingsbygwendolyn.com. I've been having a lot of fun doing those readings. And for those who have purchased the tarot and numerology workshop that I did with Julianne Victoria, um, thanks for checking into those. If you if you want to book a personal reading for yourself, you can do that at readingsbygwendolyn.com. And I'll put a link below or at the end of the video, so if you're interested in doing that, you can. Um, and this is the 2015 Terrascope for Scorpio for July. So I think we're going to start with that. Okay, so let's see what we've got. Ooh, satisfaction. My gosh. All right, these are a lot of great cards. I'm going to bring these down a little bit. Okay, let's just make sure they all fit. Okay, great. So, Scorpio, um, what I'm seeing is at the beginning of the month, you have a lot of satisfaction and abundance and vitality coming to you. So, um, Nine of Cups is usually wish fulfillment, a wish fulfilled, or satisfaction can sometimes mean overdoing it, but um, usually it's just like having you know, it's a pleasure card. So all of these cups mean um, my wishes are fulfilled. I'm sitting at the table. I feel satisfied. And Empress, too, means um, she's abundant. She's This is a great card of satisfaction also. So there, you've got some sort of wish that has come true. You're feeling very full, very abundant, very satisfied. Um, it's sort of like you're just sitting pretty at the beginning of July. So enjoy that. Um, really strong, beautiful fulfillment cards there. Wish a wish definitely coming true, getting what you want. Um, and then there is a way in which, also along with that, um, Hermit speaks of spending some time by yourself or feeling like you're by yourself or you want to get to the heart of the matter of something. Um, Hermit is equivalent to Guru. He's a person who is willing to isolate himself from society and go up into the mountain and really searches for truth. So you might want to be getting to the heart of the matter in something or finding the truth in the matter. This star or this lantern um, represents light or truth that he's trying to understand what's the truth in the situation. I'm willing to go on my own and, and really look at things deeply. There's a relationship that's in reverse here. Even though it's satisfying on one level, there's that sun card, which is vitality and hope and promise. Um, make Basically, me, it's really similar to Empress in the sense that it's just very full and it's very radiant and things are going your way. Because it's in reverse and because the relationship is pictured here, what I'm going to say is that this hermit relates to getting to the bottom of the truth of the matter of something in this relationship. So finding out what's really true about either disagreements that you have or what's the truth, what's true in the relationship. What is the heart of the matter is what's, what's telling me that you're having interest in at the beginning of the month. Um, then I'm going to say, let's see, Queen of Rods and... Um, Hierophant here, there's a couple cards that are in reverse. So, Queen, Queen of Coins, Queen of Pence here is not. She's upright, but she's looking off in a different direction. Um, Emperor is looking in the same direction as her, but he's upside down. So, even though they're looking in the same direction, they're seeing things in a very different way because what looks right side up to her looks upside down to him. So they may be looking at the same thing. They, they kind of are looking in the same direction. But because he's in reverse and she is upright, um, they're, they're at odds with one another. They're, they're seeing the same. Basically, it's like they're seeing the same thing, but they're saying it looks different. It kind of reminds me of that um, the meme that came up recently uh, where a dress was either black and blue to certain people, or white and gold to other people. It was the same picture. 
Um, I actually experienced this with someone that I knew. I showed them the picture and I said, this looks like it's white and gold. Is it really, could it be anything else? And they said, no, it's, it looks, it's black and blue. And I thought that they were kidding me because we were looking at exactly the same picture, but that kind of represents the situation of what's going on here is that it can be the same thing that they're looking at. He's looking this way. She's looking this way at the same thing, but they're seeing it completely opposite. So, um... Be careful if you are seeing in the middle of the month in July, if you're seeing things differently from someone else, understand that you guys just might have different perspectives on it. You might, no one's lying in the situation. People are really saying what they see about it, but um, you're just seeing it completely differently. Um, what I will say is that he may have more people on his side as far as how he's perceiving things. Um, tradition here is... This is tradition and, um, you know, law and order and how things are, establishment, how things are established. Um, it's also spiritual truths. Um, you know, what I'll say is because, and also this Queen of Rods, she's um, attractive, courageous, bold, confident. She speaks her mind too and does things in a very um, bold manner. But I don't, because they're all in reverse, I'm going to say that maybe, maybe Queen of Coins is seeing things accurately, but she's kind of going against what, what most other people are seeing here. So maybe there's a number of people who, you know, Emperor, Authority, Hierophant, Established, Tradition, and Queen of Rods, you know, the strong woman are all saying it's this way, and maybe it's... It's a lot of people are having a read on a situation that may just not be true. Maybe it's, maybe they're seeing things in a way that she's getting some extra insight to things. This queen of coins, she's looking off in the distance. Um, and there, this is, this is saying there's a lot of maybe authority. All of these three cards, in fact, all four of these cards are authority cards, but there may be a way, this could be even like a board of directors, where there's really only one person who's seeing the situation as it is. Um, and she's seeing things very differently from all these three. Like, they're, they're being very honest about what they see, but they may, what this is telling us to me is they may not have the full picture because they're in reverse. Or there may be some argumentativeness between them that she's not, um in the same, she's not of the same opinion as they are. So if you find yourself relating to any of these cards, whether it be traditionalism or the law enforcer or, you know, the, the witty, um, attractive, courageous, bold woman, there's going to be someone who's a little bit more down to earth or practical is what I'll say. Um, who is seeing who is seeing the situation as it is. If there's a lot of contentiousness between authority, um, if there are multiple directors that are all voting for something to go one way and it's not really that practical and there's one person who's saying, like, let's do it the practical way, this person is actually seeing it clearly, um, whether it's you or someone else. And then at the end here, you know, at the end of the month, there is something that feels very stagnant or is a difficult decision or something that is preventing you from moving forward. Both of these cards are um, cards of feeling stuck, feeling stagnant. Um, Eight of Swords is victim mentality. It means like feeling feeling stuck, feeling imprisoned, feeling victimized. It's actually having so many ideas about something that you just can't, you can't see beyond what you're already thinking. Your thoughts are imprisoning you in this situation, keeping you stuck and feeling like a victim. And Two of Swords is similar in the sense that it is a card of, I'm, un I'm in a dilemma. I'm unwilling to make a decision. I'm unable to make a decision. Therefore, I'm just like checking out. Both of these cards are blind, as you can see, blindfolded. So they're not actually seeing the reality of what's going on. They're just saying, you know, I can't deal with this. I'm just going to check out. I feel um, disempowered. I don't feel like I have any choice in this situation. I just, I'm not going to um, 
do anything. So what these two cards often tell me, or what I like to point out in both of these cards, is that they both do have power to take action. Um, and the way out of this situation is by taking action. In this case, by just putting down one of the swords and going forward, standing up and, and going forward with one of those, that is the way out of stagnancy of two of swords. And with this one, uh, she can cut her binds and take off her blindfold and walk away. There's actually no one there other than herself and her thoughts that's making her imprisoned. So what this card tells me is that if you feel powerless, both of these cards are cards of powerlessness, stuck, a stuck feeling and stagnancy. If you're feeling any of those sorts of things towards the end of the month, um, take action. Because what's, what's happening is that there's resources that are being offered to you both this Four of Cups, it's it's saying when you're so preoccupied in your mind and with, with what's in front of you, you miss out on what the universe is trying to hand to you. It's actually something that you really are going to enjoy, something that f fills your heart, but Four of Cups is so preoccupied in what's in front of them that they miss the cup that's being offered to them by the universe. They're, they're missing all the um, options that aren't directly in front of them. And this too, six of coins is resources. So um, six of coins can mean either the person who has the money or the resources or information or power is handing it out to those in need. Um, what it's saying is that you're you're feeling like you don't have the information or the power or the resources. You're missing out on resources that are being offered to you. Both of these cards depict resources being offered. Um, and this one, Four of Cups, shows missing out on it because you're not seeing it. And Six of six of Coins tells me you're not getting it because you're it's being offered by this person, but it's in reverse. And you're not feeling like things are available to you. So... I'm going to say if you're feeling any sort of victim mentality or feeling deprived or powerlessness, a lot of this speaks towards powerlessness. Um, take action. And that is the way out of any of this Eight of Swords or Two of Swords energy. Uh, make a decision or just take action. Just step. Whenever you're stuck in one area, a way out of stuckness and stagnancy is to just take a step in one direction. If it's the wrong one, you can change direction, but a way out of being stuck is by stepping in any direction, um, in a single direction. And keep your eyes open to resources that are available to you that you're not seeing. They're actually being handed to you. It might be like a grant that Grant money has already been allocated to, but you just need to write that grant. You just need to put your hand out to receive it. Or it might be that you have friends that are willing to help you or business people. Or there there may be help available, but you need to open your eyes to it. It might come from a source that's unexpected. It might be someone that, um, you know, you, you wouldn't expect to be able to get help from them. Um, but there are resources available that you're not seeing. So that's going to be my advice to you towards the end of the month is if you're feeling stuck, looks like there's some powerlessness, maybe related to this issue because there looks like there's a lot of um, people in positions of authority that are in disagreement or some of them may be in agreement, but there's only really one person in that situation who's seeing it in a practical way. Um... But if, if any of this situation towards the middle of the month makes you feel powerless or uh, feel a lack of resources, open your eyes because there are resources there and take action and that'll be your way out of that. So Scorpio, that's your uh, 2015 tarot scope for July. And if you would like to book a reading, um, a personal one, you can do that at Readings by Gwendolyn. Dot com or as well as look up any of the cards that might speak to you. Thanks so much.